Good evening and welcome to the program. The spectacular Italian Alps make the perfect setting for this inspiring story. The supporting cast are the unlikely duo of champion cyclist Cadell Evans and funny man Hamish Blake. But it's a group of Australian heroes who are the stars. They're truly remarkable people. But what's confounding is they don't know it. In fact, they think they're failures. They bravely served their country in wars and other conflicts, but in doing so developed an awful condition which has no definitive treatment mm. or cure. So perhaps even more bravely, the five men and one woman broken on the inside are now hoping to heal themselves by surviving one of the most demanding feats of endurance. It's one of the toughest amateur bike races on earth. 70 metres down. For cyclists around the world, the challenge is climbing eight kilometres straight up. Some are racing for the competition. Some for the sheer thrill. And some are racing for their lives. Yeah. And just really struggled. I cried and cried and cried. And uh, I thought, I can't do this anymore. This is what I've been dealing with for the last eight years. I don't know what's going on. I need help. Sarah Watson is here to try and help herself. The spectacular Italian Dolomites are a long way from the horrors of the Iraq war. Mm. A war that has haunted her for the past eight years and plunged her into the crippling mental illness called post-traumatic stress disorder. And it's awful. It's awful. I had really dark thoughts. I thought about many things that I'm ashamed about, as in, you know, hurting myself or, and at the very worst, I thought about ending it all because I didn't want to be in my own head anymore. <laughs> That's right. It's awful. And helping Sarah and her team on their road to recovery are two Australian legends, Cadell Evans and the one and only Hamish Blake. What the hell are you doing 